plans maybe going out it's going to be a little chilly Definitely. out there so just plan on that because we're going to see those temperatures only hitting 60 for that high today and as uh, we look at current temperatures a lot colder 37 in the fort 30 in defiance even 34 in van wert sitting at the freezing mark in angola at 32 degrees so still if you plan on heading out make sure you're bundling up Satellite and radar showing those clouds continuing to push their way eastward across the region, but still we're going to see plenty of sunshine in store to wrap up the weekend. Here's a look at futurecast. Notice mostly sunny skies, and that should be the trend as we go throughout the day. Even as we advance into Monday, relatively a mostly sunny start to the morning, but we'll see some periods of some clouds and sunshine as we go into those lunchtime hours and still hanging on to partly cloudy skies for Monday afternoon. So still a beautiful day is on deck and a partly cloudy day is on tap for Monday. Here's a look at that day planner. Highs rising into the lower 60s with mostly sunny skies. Beautiful day. Maybe if you want to go to that pumpkin path and uh, still as we go into Monday, we'll see those highs a bit warmer rising into the upper 60s for those highs and some actually potentially record breaking warmth as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, as strong southerly winds will really boost our temperatures at 80 degree high on Tuesday. And then once again, as we go into Wednesday, well above average warmth by around 20 degrees, highs nearing 80 degrees once again for Wednesday. And even as we go into uh, Thursday, that's actually Halloween. We'll stay in the 60s for a good chunk of the day by those trick or treating hours. Six, seven o'clock will be in the 50s, so make sure those kiddos are uh, bundling up if they plan on heading out and we still actually have a chance for some rain for the 31st of uh, October and then once again into Friday morning staying relatively chilly into the 30s and 40s but still those winds are going to be a big factor as we go throughout the week later in the day on Monday those winds gusting up into 20 to 25 miles per hour even as we go into Tuesday upwards of 35 mile per hour gusts and at moments 40 mile per hour gusts on Wednesday as well. So still hanging on to some breezy conditions as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday, a cold front should sweep through, really uh, bringing some windy conditions. And then later into the day on Thursday, maybe that time those uh, kiddos are trick or treating 630. The winds will slowly subside and then finally as we go into Friday, things really calming down. Expected rainfall for the next five days? Well, not really looking at too much besides on Thursday, which is Halloween. We could see a few scattered showers with an approaching cold front. Here's a look at those uh, models. Comparing them, the GFS actually bringing the chance for some rainfall a little later into the day, but still some uncertainty regarding the exact timing of the rain. And here's that rainfall forecast for the next seven days. Between around a half to an inch in many locations. And that's uh, mainly from that cold front that will bring a few of those rain showers on Halloween. And here's a look at that first alert extended forecast. 68 degrees on Monday, partly cloudy, a bit breezy. We'll see upper 70s, lower 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. Quite windy out there too. Halloween will feature some chances for some unsettled weather, fingers crossed. We are hoping that uh, it's going to remain rain free for those trick or treaters, but still uh, some details still being refined on that and then into the 50s and 60s on Friday and Saturday. Now that rain needs to stay away on Thursday. Yes, we're <laughs> hoping. All right, thanks so much, Brian.